Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about QED metadata that is available and we're going to use that in our use case. This is I'm going to split the video in multiple levels so that you can easily watch that. Uh, so then the first part we're going to see that how we can use QED metadata. Okay, so I have some QEDs in here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to just select this one file and when I select this file, I see this format QED. But if I go to and select the formal XML, I will see some metadata files in here that are related to my QED. So I'm going to select all these files and I'm going to load the data. Once I load the data in here, so what I'm going to see is in the front end, I'm going to see some uh, uh, data. So um, let's see, go in there and uh, oops. I think the data is not loaded. Let me just check that what happened. Okay, just let me load that again. Okay, here we go. Uh, there is normally this uh, offset and length. This is some issue um, that are available both in table. So if you see this is QED table header and this is field header. So uh, I'm going to say that uh, this one is the table offset so that it can be uh, read properly and there is no unnecessary keys. Okay. And another thing I'm going to do is here it says that um, table name. So this table name is actually source table uh, and click when it created which command you use to store store and after that you write normally you know you say that store table abc into uh, this path abc so this uh, the thing that comes after store it essentially store that as well uh, which particular thing that created the table and so that you can go back and then have the lineage uh, that exactly which table it was which created it okay so now i'm going to reload that data again and here you go and if i come on the front end side and oh yeah if you yeah, i think it's gonna be yeah i'm um, let's let's just say for time being it just let's remove this and it's gonna be source table i think yeah uh let's say that what the name we yeah, are source table so i'm just gonna write that in here source table here we go Okay, so you can see that, you know, this is my source table, but I can, you cannot see the actual name of the table. Um, what is the current QED table called? So if I go in here, I do not find that either actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and use a function called file base name. And I'm going to call that as table name here. So or QED name for that matter. Uh, I'm calling it table name and then I'm going to use that on my front end. So you can see that I have this information in here uh, along with which document created that application. So by default uh, on the click to cloud tenant, it's you're going to see uh, this ID. Uh, but uh, if you're on your desktop or using Q, Q, um, click view, uh, you're going to see that document. We will see that in a while. Next. So you can see here you can this is a table name. This is a source table name that created it. And then there is some other nice information you can see at which time it was created. Uh, we're going to come to use cases uh, for that in a while, uh, but uh, this is the, all the information that we have and we can there can be a number of use cases for that. Okay, uh, so that's it for QED metadata. Uh, stay tuned for the next part.